Today is Monday, September 5th, 2022. It is also day 413 of web development. And today I'm going to experiment with modals. I haven't done a modal with JavaScript like ever, but I've done it with HTML and CSS. So I'm going to try to see if I can do it with JavaScript. If not, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'll just do some research um, tomorrow. But even if, you know, I'm just going to try it and we'll see what happens. So I'm, I have a replit open and I'm just going to delete this green stuff over here and I don't need the hello world. So let me just do a basic setup at the moment. So what I'll do is maybe make like a quick landing page um, or maybe not. So in my body tag, right, I'll just do, let's say like a div class container. And then inside the container, um, let's see, I can probably have a navigation bar or a header. And um, yeah, so a header and then maybe a showcase or just the main content. Okay, um, so the header is going to contain, let's say, the logo. So I'll give it an ID of logo. And it's going to end up being an H1, the logo that's going to say, I don't know, something. I'll change it later, but right now I'm just going to say logo. So let me actually open that up here. Reload that. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Um, and then after the logo, um, I'm trying to think. I'm going to have like um, an icon. So let me go to icons eight and get like a like a hamburger menu. All right, so this one looks good. Doesn't really matter which one. Um, let me get the static, and then I believe um, it depends on the color that I'm using. So I don't know if I'm gonna use a dark color. All right, so I decided I'm gonna make the background this color over here. So I'll go to the CSS real quick um, and just get the body or the container, which one? Um, the container, so that's gonna be dark container, and then give it a background and just paste that color in there, run that, save it, reload. Okay, and then obviously it's only a little box because currently the height is of its content. So I need to say like 100 VH vertical height of the screen and then it should fix that. But then um, I see that there's some spacing around the container and to fix that, I can just say margin zero and then padding zero, reload that and that should get rid of um, that stuff there and then to further get rid of some spacing um, at the side or at the top I'll do box sizing and set that the border box um, don't even ask me what that does like I know what it does but I also don't so briefly I know that if you if you do this then when you like set padding and like margin to certain divs it's not going to really change the outside but it's going to adapt what's on the inside of the div so that that padding and the margin is taken account taken um taken account for is that a good thing yeah whatever anyway now what i'll do is i'll do control shift i and i want to kind of do this mobile first so i'm going to select this and then go to let's say iphone 11 and I am really not sure why there is um, that stuff at the top, like that spacing. So height with 100%, so container 100%. Oh, I know, because the header, that's the header, okay. Um, but then the header is actually supposed to be within the container. Where is the container made? Sure. So I have my header, my div container, which ends here, then my header, and then my main. So let me go and give everything a border so I know what I'm looking at. So the header and main, I'll give it a border of five pixels, white solid, reload. All right, so now, perfect. And then I'll give them each like a height of, I don't know, 50 pixels for now, just so I could see what that's looking like. Okay, perfect, there we go. So that's what um, the spacing was at the top. So then, at this point, um, I'm just trying to think, I want, the, let me take the logo, so I'll do hashtag logo, and I'll give it a color of white, right, and then I'll take the header, and let me grab the header, 
give it a display of flex and then I'll do um, I'll grab the icon so this icon so I'm just gonna right click copy image link I guess in Chrome it's a copy image address I'll go to my HTML and then within the header um, I'll go after the logo and do a div actually an image and then I'll do SRC which is source and paste the source in there and then I'll just make sure that I surround it in an A tag that leads to nowhere for now, so that's what the hashtag is, um, so that it becomes like clickable, right? Run that, reload. Oh, and the one thing I forgot to do, I forgot to recolor it so that it's white, so I have that option. So if I go recolor and then go and click on white and then done, right click, copy image link. The only difference is that it's gonna be a really long link now, um, and it might end up making your HTML look ugly, so you might wanna do that at the end, but yeah that's that happens there we go um and then because the reason i can't see it right now is because it doesn't have a certain height or width so i'll take the image right and i'll give it a height of i don't know 50 pixels and a width of 50 pixels and just play around with that base and then kind of move things around until i see it right perfect and then um i'll go to the header right the the let me delete this for a second run that reload so what Display Flex does, um, it allows the logo, right, anything in the Flex container, which are Flex items, to become or like be in the same row. Currently, they're in the same column, right, up and down. But Display Flex to the container header, well, the header becomes a Flex container, excuse me. And now anything inside the header, which is the logo and the image, becomes a Flex item. And so when it's Display Flex, and now by default, there's a uh, Flex property called Flex Direction, and it is set to row by default. So that's why when I run this, and even if I don't have Flex Direction, the, the direction of all the items, so the logo and the navigation mode all thing, is going to go to be in the same row. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So then I would want them to be on opposite size. So I'll just do just, justify, whoops, justify, that's not how you spell justify, content, um, and then I'll do space in between. So justify content um, does whatever you tell it, but horizontally while align items does it vertically. All right, so that's beautiful. And then I'm going to go here and just maybe shrink this to maybe 25 pixels, 25 pixels. Again, you could always change it reload see what that looks like um and now i want it to be a little bit more down so i know that let's see the a tag i'll give it a border five pixels white solid so i'm able to see what it looks like okay so i all i have to do is go to the a tag right give it a display of flex and um just say align items center and that should bring it towards the center so i should bring it down actually um the little icon here reload beautiful okay so now i can get rid of this um border don't need that reload and that is what it's looking like and i'll do the same thing for the logo so the logo i believe is inside a div called logo um so really i should actually delete this over here and target the logos h1 which is the actual logo text um and then for the logo itself i could set okay display flex so now it's a flex container and then I can say um, uh, justify content center and align item center. And that should get it in the center of the logo, which I don't have a border right now, but to see what it actually looks like. So that's why you add a border, because apparently it's not working. So let me see what's going on. White solid, reload. Okay, so I don't know why it's like that. So display flux. Just if I caught in center, align, oh, align items, items. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Um, align items, not justify items. Okay, so um, delete that, go back, and now we have everything pretty good. And then what I would want to do is I want there to be some spacing in between the logo and, um, what do you call it, the... Um, the hamburger menu and to do that I have two options I could do a grid and then like all this stuff or I could just simply grab the header which is the container that contains the logo and the menu and I could just say like I don't know padding um like zero pixels top and bottom and then like 40 pixels left and right and that's gonna have like a 40 pixel padding 
um, for the logo and the stuff. But I don't want to be, I don't want it to be too much. So maybe, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 would work. Okay, that's good. All right, so I did 10 pixels. Okay, so, um, yeah, and then after, after this, I don't think I want to do anything right now for the show, for the, what do you call it, the main section, but I'll grab the main section, actually, and I'll just give it a height. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll delete this. I'll go to the container and give it an actual grid. So I'll do display grid, and what that does is, oh, let me show you. Um, if I go here to my inspector and I go, this is Firefox, by the way, Chrome doesn't have this. So if you go to the container, you can click on the grid lines and then you'll actually be able to see the grid lines and the grid numbers, which is so, so helpful. And you're able to actually see um, the actual grid here. And it's basically just boxes and it's kind of like a, uh, a way to format the, the boxes. So this is um, the header and this is the main section. Um, so you could specify how many uh, columns you want. So I'll do grid template columns and say, okay, I only want one column, so 1FR, so it's going to separate the container into one equal space, so 1FR. And then I could say grid template rows and say, okay, I want two rows, um, so 1FR, 1FR, which is the equivalent of saying 50%, 50%. So each div inside is going to be 50%. So let me reload that. All right, so now you can see 50%, 50%. Um, so then let me just look at something over here. So the header, you could actually specify, okay, so the header is the one at the top. So I'll say, okay, I want grid. I want it to be grid. Um, let's see, grid row. And, um, I wanted to do one to two. So rows one to two. So that's one over here at the top and then two down and then save that reload. And then I want to specify for the main tag. I'll go here and say main and I'll say grid and I want grid row actually and say two to three. So it's saying, hey, start at row th two and end at three, which is at the bottom. All right, beautiful. And then I'm not sure where that, um... oh, that's why. Where is it? I gave it a height of 50 pixels. That's why if I delete that, the height of 50 pixels, it should go full. That's why it wasn't working. Okay, because I already had a predetermined height. But um, without a height, it just takes up, again, 50% of the space, 50% of the space, because I told it to be 1FR, 1FR. That's what it is. It's just saying, hey, I want you to separate the container into two equally spaced rows. And if it was three, then it would be three equally spaced rows. Um, or you could just do your own sizing. That works as well. All right, so um, knowing that... Um, I do want to fix a little something, so I don't actually want them to be equally spaced. I want the header, obviously, to be less than that, just how it was at the beginning. So I could actually say maybe, I could even do percentages, so I could do like 20% and then have the other one be 80%. Save that, reload, and see what that looks like. There we go. So definitely I want something way less than that, it's just how it was at the beginning. I just kind of play around until I see what I like. All right, just like that. It's really good. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to work with the modal. So that the modal is this little link, um, not the link, the menu over here. So I'm going to go to HTML and I'm going to give it an ID. Um, let's see, I'm going to give it an ID of um, menu so I can target it later. All right, um, and then let me go and actually set up what I want it to look like. So I'm just gonna do it um, right before the script, maybe right before the main, right? Okay, so I'll do a div and I'll give it a class modal, right? And then I'll say, let me see. So the modal is going to contain a nav bar, so it's going to be like a navigation bar. So I'll do a div class nav bar. And then let's see, it's going to, a navigation bar contains a list of links. So you would obviously need a, a, a list. So a UL, an order, an un, I can't even speak, an unordered list, which is basically a list with bullet points and not numbers. It's, it's not ordered. And then each list um, has list items, which I am actually going to make links that lead to nowhere, which is a hashtag, and they're going to be called links for now. 
Okay. Um, and then I'll just copy that 5,000 times. All right, let me just, where did my stuff go? Okay, right here. So copy this, just paste that maybe four times or three times actually, because there was the other one I didn't paste. Um, so yeah, um, that's it. So now if I reload that, I'll be able to see it, but it's at the end over here. And my thing is, let me see. I'm trying to think. So I need to go to CSS and then I need to target it. So I believe I said modal and I'll give it a border. Let's say five pixels yellow solid so I could see it. So that's the modal and I need it to have position absolute. I'm not even sure if I do it with JavaScript, maybe I'm able to just create it with JavaScript. Hmm. Anyway, um, and then I need to have a height, but here's the the problem. It needs to have a height and width of 100%, but it's at, but it's absolute, not relative. So that's a problem. So height, let's say 100 bh, right? And then I'm I'm gonna try something. So let's see if width 100% works. No. So then what about wh? No. Um, how would I make that work with if I do something like in pixels? Hmm, weird. It doesn't work at all. So 100 VH and then with 500 pixels. That's the modal and it's not working. Why? Maybe because it already is 500 pixels. How about I do 700? Oh, there we go. I just had to reload. That's great. So, 500. And I still don't see it. 100. That is so weird. And then if I do 100 WH, which is the width, it doesn't work. It's so weird. It is so weird. Um, What other units could I do? Let's try an experiment here. 100, okay, no, let's do 200 pixels. I just don't want to use pixels because then it's not responsive. It's like really hard to make it responsive. So 400 pixels. Okay, something like that. Sure. You know what? I don't know. We'll just go with it. And then let me just go back to iPhone 11. Oh yeah, definitely not that. So maybe 360. Okay, that works. All right, so then at this point, I would want um, the navigation bar to actually be in the middle of it. So I'll do flex and then justify content center. And then obviously a line item center as well to get that downwards. Save that, reload, okay. And then for the, let's say like the nav bar, UL, LI, a, which is all the actual A tags, I'll change the color to white. So save that, reload, and then I'll change um, the text decoration, set that to none, so that um, the underline is removed, the decoration. And then get rid of the bullet points, which is actually an LI property, so I'll have to do nav bar, UL, LI. And then just set list style to none. I save that reload and then yeah that's it and then let me go to the the, the I can't even speak oh my god the html and then change what they say so like maybe home um last one I always do contact and then let's say like pricing is always the second to last pricing um, and then what would this would be? Um, testimonies, or maybe that's too long. How about our mission? Save that, reload. Um, and then just, I would have to make sure that, uh, actually, I'm gonna get rid of that. Our, 
Okay. And then I would actually go to the nav bar and center and give that a display flex so that everything is justified at the center. So I'll go to dot nav bar, display flex. And then actually, let me show you what happens here. If I run this, it's actually going to go to the same row, which is, oh, well, wait, not nav bar, UL because that's what holds all the list items. All right, it's going to go to the same row, which is a problem. Why? Again, because when you do flex, um, display flex, flex direction is set to row by default. So I have to overwrite that and say column so that they're back at the same, like, you know, on top of one another. And then I'll do justify content center so that the all the list items are in the middle horizontally. So justify content center and then align items center. But I think, okay, let me save that. Reload. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Um, but then I noticed that it's actually not in the center of the yellow box, which is really weird. Um, but let me fix that later. Let me do font size. What am I doing again? Font size, I don't know, 20 pixels. Is that too small or too big? Okay, too small. So let me do 30. Okay, home, mission, pricing, contact. All right, so this is what it's looking like in a mobile device. And this is what it's supposed to look like if you click on the modal. Well, not at the moment, but um, the goal. That's what the goal is. And I'm just trying to figure out why in the world is it not in the middle? Because it's not in the middle. Let me change the font size to 50 pixels just because I think that's too small. Okay, that's much better. And then I can also go to um, the UL and give it a gap so that there's some spacing between each item. So 16 pixels or 1EM equivalent. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and then when I hover over it, what can happen is that, let me do navbar, UL, LI, A, and then, whoops, when that's at a state of hover, then what I can do is change the font weight to bold. Although, I don't think, let me see, let me reload. All right, so now when I hover over it, it should turn to bold. Font weight, bold. Whoops, stay on the page, save, reload. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Font weight, is that, is that not what it is? Huh, let me think. So nav bar, UL, LI, a hover, font, weight, bold. Did I spell it wrong? I doubt it. Let me see. Right, that's what it is. It's supposed to be like that, font, weight. So then what's the issue? Maybe if I go um, into here and just give them maybe an, uh, a class of link. Maybe that would be better. So let me just give each a tag. Oh my god. Um, a class of link. So put one in here, one in there, one in here. Save that, reload. Okay, now nope. let me save. Go back to CSS and then where is my stuff? And then instead of this, just do dot link hover. Save, reload. And it still doesn't work. That is so weird. Does it work here? Oh, it does work here in CodePen, but I guess that's not an ah. Uh, that doesn't work here in Firefox. Weird. But it works here in CodePen, so it does work. That's what it's supposed to be looking like. Um, all right, I'm just going to leave it like that then. Um, the one thing that's bothering me so much is the fact that it's not centered, and I know that has to do with my the width of this. So maybe if I just shrink it a bit and save that, Reload. I don't know, man. 55? No, I think 60 was the way to go, but it's not looking like it. It's so odd. What did I just do? Oh my god. Okay. Let me try to open it on my phone and see what it looks like. It should look like exactly how it looks like right now, but um, let me see. 
So you know what, I think what I'm going to do is, maybe if I go back to, where's the modal? The modal over here. Instead of position absolute, let me do fixed and see if that changes anything. And then kind of, okay. And then maybe do this. Reload. Okay, now we're talking. Oh yeah, and then it goes all the way down, which is really good. But then I only want it to be... 100% actually you know what I don't even know yeah I want it to be 100% of the entire screen hmm and then I obviously wanted to have and I just want to fix the fact that it's like not at the center <laughs> like that annoys me so much um I don't know so 90% width doesn't even make sense and then it is at the center for 90% width Maybe I'll keep it that way. But then I would also want it to have like an overlay. So I'll do background and then it will make it appear, which is really not okay. So then RGBA 0 0.77, three times, and then 0 0.7, and then comma, and then copy that and just do it again. Paste that in there, reload. Semicolon. Should be a linear gradient like that which is which is okay but then i'm able to see the fact that it's not um taking up 100 percent of the screen so i'll have to change that to 100 percent. although it's literally not even working right now so if i go back to iphone 11 i don't know man it's not in the middle either which is super annoying um i'm not sure how to fix that Let's see. I could just give it a. I could just go to the um, nav bar and give the nav bar margin. So I could do nav bar margin from the right. I don't know, like 20 pixels. There we go. So now it's kind of the center, maybe 25. Although this is kind of a hack, I don't like doing this. I wish I could do this a better way, but eh, it works. All right. And then the last, well, not really the last thing, would be um, getting the the animation part, which is where JavaScript comes in. I usually do this with, um, with uh, CSS, but I'm going to try to do it with JavaScript for the first time. So if I go back up to the top, my menu has an ID of menu. So I'll go and grab that in JavaScript. So I'll go to the JavaScript. And then I'll be like, okay, variable, I'll call it maybe like open, set that equal to document dot get element by ID, which is a function that returns the ID. So um, what did I say menu? And then I can create a function called variable on button click. I want, let's see, I want my menu so the open button to well what do i want no i don't want the open i want the modal itself so i'll have to also get the modal here so variable modal set equal to document dot and i have to go back to my html and see what i have it as so the modal um is where it's over here it has a class of modal but i'm also going to give it an idea of modal because i don't want to do anything or any function or use any function that has to do with getting classes because then i have to use a for loop which is not that bad but less code the better all right document get element by id modal and then what i can do so when i click on the button um i would want my modal to have so style display and set that to block and then let me go and actually make it disappear um so by default i would want it to not be there obviously so I'll go to the modal and give it a display set oh but it has a display flex so i'll have to actually 
Oh, that sucks. Okay, so let me go to my HTML and make like a modal can like content. So I'll do a div class modal content. And then let me just grab this and see where that is. Okay, so paste that in there and div over here. Um, and then that's the modal content. And I'll have to go to my CSS, scroll all the way down, and then pretty much everything that I gave it. I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff. Just take all this and leave that for the modal and then do modal content and put the rest in there. And then instead of display flex, which is what I had before, I'll do display none so that it disappears from that reload and it should not be there. Beautiful. And then let me go back to my JS and actually call the function. So um, what am I doing again? So I'll take the button, which is actually open, and I'll say add an event listener. And I'll pass in the event handler, so it's kind of how I want the uh, modal to show up. Do I, do I want to show up? Do I want it to show up when I double click on the menu, uh, the hamburger menu, or do I want it to show up when I just click once on the menu? And there's uh, some other stuff too, but I'm just gonna say click, which means I only have to click once on it. I believe it's on double click or something like that, um, in order to have something happen when you click twice on it. And then I'll pass in my function and then it should work let me run that reload and when i click on it beautiful but then this is the problem um i have to be i have to make sure that this is 100 percent, which it's not right now so that's an issue um so i'll have to go so right now the problem is that the content of the modal is not 100 percent. so let me go here and give it a height well, is it 100% with 100%? Whoops. Reload. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and it works. And then now to close, I never actually was able, like when I, when I was doing this with CSS and HTML, I never actually learned how to close it. So this is going to be a challenge because I don't know, how am I supposed to close it? You know? Um, interesting. I'm trying to think, how would I close it now? Like, usually they have, like, different buttons, but then this, I don't even know. What I could do, maybe, is I could just... I could create a new button. I can get it, like, an X. But I just want it to be so that, the, like, when I click the same button, it can, like, open and close. So let me go X here. Let me just try a new button, see if that would work. So I'm gonna get this, where's the Xbox? Oh no, maybe I don't want the Xbox X. I always use the Xbox X. Maybe I'll just try new, something new today. Um, I just don't want such like a, like very edgy X. I want something soft. Maybe this. I don't want it to be so vertical. I need it to be more like, like rounded. I'm being very picky on literally an icon. I'm just gonna, t I don't even know. I'm gonna maybe take this one and then um, let me go over here and recolor it so it's white. Done, and then right click, copy, image link. By the way, I'm on icons8.com, super amazing site. And then I'll go, um, go to JavaScript, right? And this is gonna be a whole other thing. So let's see, so when I, Click on the function. I want something else to happen. I want there to be, let me think. I could create this element in JavaScript, or I could just do the same thing and have it um, have display none and then call it and give a display block. Okay, let me do that. So I'm gonna go to index.html. I actually do, I wanna do that. Yeah, I do, I do. I do. Okay, so um, let me go to where's the menu over here right and then i'll just do this real quick so i'll do an a tag or actually an image actually yeah an a tag that leads to nowhere for now and then it's going to be an image source that leads to this huge link 
and an image doesn't really need a closing tag, and that's it, right? And then I'll give it an ID of um, X, right? Run that. Stay on the page. All right, so now I'm able to see it. So let me go to style, um, and then I'll go down here and just say hashtag X image and just make sure that I give it the same height. Uh, I don't even know what it was, 25 pixels or what? Um, 25 pixels, 25 pixels. And then I'll grab, let me think. Um, okay, I could give it a display, none for now, but then that's gonna make it disappear, but I wanna move it to the right, so how would I actually do that? Huh. Interesting. So I could just do positioning. Um, position relative. I'm trying to think. Let me give it a border just so I can see what's going on right now. When in doubt, give it a border. Let me do some other color. I don't know. Yellow, solid. Okay. Oh, whoops, let me get rid of that display none. That's why it disappeared. Okay, beautiful. So how am I supposed to actually move that? Because right now, I'm not sure, if I go look at the modal, it has a display of none, but it has position fixed. So maybe I could also do position fixed. So it doesn't move, but then I don't want it to be all the way over there. So how would I fix that? Um, let me go back to my HTML. And maybe what I can do is I can grab all this and put it after the menu. So it's still inside the header. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay, so it's treated because it's on it's at, it, I can't even speak because it's inside the header, it's being treated as a flex item, and so now there's like three things in the flux container, which is the header instead of two, and so it's moving things around, which is not exactly what I want. Um, I'm trying to think, so maybe it would be best to create this with JavaScript. How would I delete an element from Java without? with JavaScript, how would I delete an element? Like actually delete it. What if I, you know what? I have an idea. Okay, let me do control Z. Okay, and then let me go back up here. And for JavaScript, um, I think I have, I'll have to target, I have the menu, right? So I'll do, open dot um let's see style dot display set that to none All right reload okay I open that now it's none and now this one goes all the way no but it's still it's still being affected uh, i don't even know it's still being affected by it, but it's going all the way because I think the width is um, extended. Um, let me see, maybe the width of the modal could be, I don't know, 98%. That's almost there. Oh, so see, it's not the width that's being affected. So how would I fix that? Um, good question, good question. Um, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. So if I just reload, okay, if I click on it, it disappears, right? But then what's actually happening where the X is going all the way to the right, which is not exactly what I want. If I go to my CSS, how do I have the X? So I have the X image itself, position fix, height 25 pixels, width 25 pixels. What if I get rid of the position fix and see what that gives me? 
there we go beautiful okay that works and then I would want it to have a z index of one right so I'll do z index one so that it's like above beautiful and then have it as a display none so that it's actually not there um, in the normal stuff reload now when I click on it okay and then what I'll have to do is I'll have to go to JavaScript and then I have to actually target the X so I have to actually get it so I'll do variable close and do um, document so the DOM right which is the copy of like the browser's copy of your HTML so it contains all of your HTML elements but as nodes or objects which you could actually target with javascript since javascript is an object oriented programming language so documents and then i can get a fun i can use a function get element by id which gets the element or the object um and i have to okay it's x right so that's that and then i can say okay i want the close to have a style display so i'm accessing the css right and then the css property display that's what style is css um, and then I'll set it to block, reload, okay, click, all right, it doesn't work, so let's see, what could, what could work here, so let me see if I actually, so console, console.log, close, let me see if it actually targeted the ID, Um, if I go to the console, is depreciated set point instead? What? What is this? When have I ever said set capture? What is this? Okay. Oh, it's targeting the A tag, not the image. So what I have to do instead is go to, where is it? Go to my HTML and give the image an ID. So ID of, let's say, Actually, I'll just give it of X, right? Because I don't think I ever targeted the A tag by itself, right? Let me reload. Oh, what did I do? Oh my God, this is scary. Oh, obviously, because I have to do it after the image. Okay, that was a scary moment there. Now my page breaking. Hello? Not it absolutely breaking right now. What did it? Okay, let's go back. So source. Oh, there's a space in there. Shouldn't be a space in there. Okay, have that there. There we go. Beautiful. And then let me see. Um. Oh, so I did. Oh wait, I do think I've targeted the ID. Oh, this sucks. Okay, so you know what? I'll go back and just put that in there. And then I'll go and give this an ID of XIMG. And then run that reload. Oh my god, stay on page. Okay, go here. And instead of X, I'll just do XIMG here, just to not change anything. And then reload. Okay. And when I click on this, it should open. And then I have my X there. Beautiful. Okay, so now let me work on the function. So now when I click, um, I want to do another function. So I'll do variable, let's say on button, like close, I guess, I don't know. I'll do a function and then I'll say, okay, when, let me try to think. So I want, so basically everything that I want to happen when I click on this, so it's all of this, just the opposite. So I want the modal to be displayed none again. I want the open to be display block again, and then the close I want it to disappear. And then I want that to happen when I click on the close button, right? So let me just get rid of this console.log. And um, I'll add an event listener, event listener. And then I'll say, okay, when I click on it, and then I'll pass in my function um, on button click close, which is such a long thing and probably not the best name. And then do that, and then do this, and then run it. Save, reload, okay, I don't know what's going on. Reload, 
click on it should open and then if I click on it it should close beautiful and then here's another problem actually first of all let me just dwell on the fact that I just did this I have spent literally days like I could show you if you go to my web development dogs uh web development logs you'll see that I spent like literal days trying to figure out like modals and how to get them done and I am just so appreciative right now thank you god that he allowed me to do this right now because this is amazing the fact that I learned how to do this this is great um and then really quickly I would just have to definitely change this um so what was the display before I think it was display flex right so instead of none for the, what was it again, the, the the open? I think it was flex. Reload, there we go, beautiful. And now it's working absolutely fine. And I'm so excited, that's amazing. Okay, let me just do myself a favor, go to the index, actually not the index, the style, and just get rid of any borders that there are. So get rid of all this, get rid of this, and then this one over here, reload beautiful and then if I click on it it works beautifully um oh I just I do notice though oh my god maybe that's why I wasn't working because of the border now I'm able to actually see the blue line oh wow so let me go back to the modal and give it a width of 100% save that and then reload look at that it was just because of the border that's why I wasn't taking 100% of it wow all right that's amazing um and you know what? This is, this is so great. I'm so happy. Okay, let me just do like a nice landing page real quick, just so it looks nice. Um, what's a good name? Let me go to name. Was it name flicks? Name? I don't even remember. Name flicks. Business name generator. Um, I don't know. What's a good thing? I don't know. What's a random word? Um, teaching or like books book let's do medium next um let's do alternative spelling boqua library minimo boca ebook i or ebook anic and 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 sex and i can't even pronounce that um this one's cute book kit this one looks nice book kit all right, maybe that one. So let me go and do book it. All right, reload. There we go. And then maybe what I should do, um, what should I do? Maybe some, if I go to the, I never use my main tag. So let me go to index.html and I'll go to the main tag and just do something I don't know maybe do like div class content right and then I'll do like an h1 that says um get your favorite or maybe get mystery books by the mail get a bundle or maybe have it be Christmas every day get books I don't know have it be Christmas every week get a bundle what would be my copy here get a bundle of books um get a bundle of your book okay get a bundle of books get your kit get your book kit every or get your monthly book kit sign up to get your monthly book kit sign up to get your monthly book kit okay well, i don't even know what to say um and then let me reload that okay and then that would be in the main right so i would go to my css i don't even think i even targeted the main did i i did okay um i'll give it a display of flex and then i'll do justify content center so that it centers horizontally and then align items center so that it centers vertically um, so that's at the center. Save that. Reload. Okay. And then let me see. Why wouldn't it be going justify content center display flex? Let me give it a border so I can see what's going on. What end up? Give it a border. Reload. Okay. So why is it not going 
downwards, like what's going on. All right, um, so I'll do, that's so weird. So maybe, oh, you know why? I know why. Because it's actually the content. So what is it again? Is it, um, it's content, right? So let me go here. And then what I should do, where did it go? Is give this also a display of all that. Save that, reload. And then not only that, but also um, let me do dot content h1, give that a color of white so it could actually see what I'm looking at. Okay, reload. See, it still doesn't work, so I wonder why. Did I spell justify wrong? Justify. Oh, yes, I did. That's why. No, I didn't. Okay. Just the five content center. I wonder why it's not working. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because when in doubt, give it a border. So five pixels is do pink solid. Maybe it's because the H1 has a certain width. Okay, so I could just do text align center. And I should put that in the center right there. Reload. Beautiful. Okay, sign up to get your monthly book kit. Beautiful. And then um, what I could do is, um, I don't even know what I could do. Let me see. Um, go to over here and the HTML, scroll all the way down with the 5,000 links. And then under the H1, I'll do a form. And inside the form, I'll have an input where they could write their email. Actually, no, let me just do a button, just something simple today. Um, let's do a button, so I'll do A, what did I just do? What is this? Sometimes I'll have trouble making sure everything's screen is the same. Let us know which version of the song you like to hear. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean others work? What? Ain't nobody working at this besides me. Okay, I don't know what that was about. All right, and then let me see. Let me go here, do an A tag, href that leads to nowhere. So that's what the hashtag is. And then I'll do sign up. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's it. So let me reload. And then I'll have to go here into CSS and then go to the main content. Where is it? Search it up. All right, so that's the content here. Let me give that a border also so I can see what that looks like. Okay, beautiful. And then I'll just give it a display. Now that it already has a display flux, I meant a flux direction of column because again, by default, flux direction is set to row. So I want it to be column so that they're, um, so that the H1 and the button are on top of one another. Beautiful. And then I'll go and get the, um, actual button, which I need to give an ID because I have a bunch of other A tags. So I can't just be like A tag and then look like this, right? I'll have to do um, ID, I'll say BTN, and then I'll go back to my CSS, and then I'll do, um, what will I do? Oh, where's my stuff? I always lose my track or my place. So let's do dot content A, no, what am I doing? I just gave it an ID. Hashtag BTN, and then give it a background of white, color, black. Reload that so you can see what's going on. And then text decoration, none, so that removes the underline. And then um, I'll do padding, 10 pixels, top and bottom. 20 pixels left and right. Beautiful. And then I'll do border radius 20 pixels so that it's round. Beautiful. And yeah. So now let me work on the fonts. So I mean, let me go to Google Fonts. Um, nope, wrong one. Why do I always click on this one? All right, um, can I actually go to the fonts? Okay, I'm gonna get Lado for the links. 
I'm going to get the regular 400, which should be somewhere here. Um, regular 400, add that to my list, and then I'm going to search up one more, which is going to be for the H1, um, and it's going to be robotic slab. And I'm going to get the regular 400 for this one as well. Um, so this one, and then go here, grab this link over here, and I'm just going to go to my HTML, head tag at the top, and link that there. And basically, I say this in every video, but you know how in your class, you had your English teacher and you have to write a paper, right? And she would always say, cite your sources because they need to know where you got this information from. Same thing. CSS is looking where you got the font from and it's looking for where you're citing that, right? So it knows where you got that font from. So you cite it in the head tag at the top. And so now CSS knows that when you use a font in CSS, it knows where you're getting it from so that, you know, it technically gets it from there. Um, okay, so then um, now I can go here and get the font Lado first, and then I'll go and use it for um, the links. Are you serious? Link? Okay. So, um, wait, where are the other ones? Oh, I did never, okay. Link, give that font family to that. I bet, wait, no. Oh, it's because I did this, but this can just be changed to link. There we go. It's the same thing. That's after I, that was before I added the class, right? So now if I save that, now I should be glad. Okay. And then the, um, the other thing would be this, uh, BTN also. So what I'll do is, um, what will I do? Yeah. Well, let me do hashtag BTN. I just give that font there, save that. And then reload and I should change. Beautiful. And then let me go get the Roboto slab. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Roboto or Robat, I don't even know. And then go to the, let's see, the H1 over here for the content and put that in there. And I'll do the same thing for um, the logo. So the logo H1, put that in there as well, right? Save that, reload. Okay, beautiful. Um, and then now things are looking good. And then what I, I think I'm going to do, instead of... Um, this would work if there was like a picture behind it. I usually do that with overlays, but instead of having a overlay, so let me get rid of that overlay, that linear gradient, and I'll just give it a, or maybe I can make it stronger. No, it's just because there's text in the background. I don't like that. So let me just do black. Save that, reload. Beautiful. All right. Um, so that's what it's looking like. Home mission pricing contact. And I'm not sure, should I make it the same color? Uh, maybe I should make it the same color as the background. What if I do that? Save that, reload. I think that works better, or at least it matches better. All right, and then let's see, sign up to get your monthly book kit, and then maybe I should go to the HTML and get rid of that um, capital U, which doesn't really fit in there. Um, so let me do sign up. And then I think that's it. I mean, maybe like a hover effect would be good um, for the BTN. So hashtag BTN. All right, so I'll do when I hover over the BTN. I would want its background to change to hashtag E six times, which is kind of like an off gray color. I did do six times, right? Yep. Okay. And so now when I reload this stamp page um, and I hover over it, it should turn. Let me see. What if it's like, oops. Okay. iPhone 11. Let's see. Background BTN is not what I had it. Oh, wait, let me try it in CodePen because sometimes things don't work in Firefox beautiful it works in I wonder why things don't work in Firefox oh my god um yeah it works in CodePen so that's that's good that means it works everywhere else <laughs> except Firefox apparently um and now yeah I think I think that's it um maybe I should just get rid of I don't know the borders and then maybe kind of work with the font sizing a little bit or maybe not I think that's fine um so yeah um what am I doing again? Okay, I'm going to go CSS. I, like, keep losing track of everything. Um, what am I doing? I just said that, didn't I? 
Um, oh yeah, the borders. Okay. Where are they though? Let me just board new border. Control F is my best friend. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. What's another one? Nope, not this one. Another one. Nope, not that. Control Z. Um, get rid of this border. Save. Reload. And this is the final result, and that is what it's looking like on the phone, right? So, really nice. Book it, right? Click on that. I have my navigation bar. X out of that. Beautiful. And what I think I'll do is um, maybe give it a, a bigger width because I feel like it's the width that it currently has right now is just it's not giving. So, 30 pixels. Maybe that would be a little bit better. Much better, yes. And then... Um, definitely want some more spacing in between, uh, not in between, but on the outside of the header. So I'll do padding maybe 20 or maybe, maybe 15 would have been good. Let me just try. Maybe that's good. Okay. I think that's a little bit better. Um, okay. And then, yep, that's it for today then. Um, yep. Really proud of that. Don't know what more to say. I think that the last thing would be is to make it responsive for the web because currently right now it's responsive for mobile. So, um, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, let me X out of here. Okay, so this is what it's looking like um, for the web and def it's really easy actually at this point. I think I'm just going to simply just move this and have it be, just increase the font size or give it a width. So what I'll do is I'll go to index HTML. Um, oh no, CSS actually, sorry. And I'll scroll all the way down and just add a media query. So I'll do media screen, or is it media add screen? Eh, let me do that. Let me not do that. And then I'll say, okay, minimum width or maximum width. So minimum width means um, it has to be at least this width. So once it reach or when the screen is at least this width, so it could be more than the width. So let me try that. So minimum width. Let's say at which point does it start getting a little I don't even know. Um so when the, maybe the width when the maximum width is so when the screen is at maybe two hundred pixels, um then I would want let's see the dot content h1 to have a width of I don't know 200 pixels so that it's actually not all in one line so maybe what would work is changing this to minimum width I don't know I'm gonna be so honest with you I kind of still need work on okay there we go that's when it works or that's how it works um as I was saying before I need work on media queries to be honest with you um and then change the font size I don't know 80 pixels Okay, and then definitely change the width to be so much more than that. So save that. Reload, sign up to get your monthly book kit. That works, right? Beautiful, beautiful. And then once it reaches this width, which I don't know what that width actually is. Um, so let me do control shift I. Oh, it's, I already had it open. And then let me go to the inspector and then go to the body and then see what width it has right now, 788. So maybe what I'll do is um, a media query. So when I do like min with 700 or something. So when it's at least 700 pixels, then I would want to kind of change this a little bit and say maybe half of that 40 pixels and then half of that 400 pixels. Reload. Beautiful. Okay. Um, that works, I guess. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. Hold up. So what about max width? Okay. Okay, beautiful. So that's how it works. And then after this, beautiful. So let me do, um, what would it be? 720 pixels or would it be something different? Just to have it a little bit more responsive. If I do 600... takes longer, so I don't have to do 
save that, reload. Beautiful, and then let me just really double check that this is responsive for the web. Hopefully that didn't change anything. Not the web, the phone. Oh no, it's not. Oh my God, this is so bad. <gasps> no way. How do I fix that? Oh, you know what I could do? Let me go to the container. Fight 100 VH with 100%. Reload. No, that wouldn't work. What about WH? No. So how about I just do a little cheating and I get rid of this with, right? Right? Get with me. And then I just, just change the background just to be the body. There we go. And nobody will ever know. Right? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. And everything works. Okay. Nice. And then it's responsive for the web also. Um, whoops, what did I just do? All right, and it's looking good. Um, I guess the only thing I would change for the web would be maybe the header so that it's more, there's more spacing in between. So to do that, I guess I could just do, let's do dot header and then padding uh, left and right, what would I do? Um, zero pixels top and bottom, 50 pixels left and right. Or, how about I do 20%? I don't think percentages, let me see if that would work. No. So how about I do 50 pixels? No, okay. How about if I change this to be over here? Would it work? Nope, okay, great. <sighs> what now? So padding, zero pixels, 50 pixels left and right. So why would it not work? Interesting. What if I give it a border, see if that actually works? So five pixels, white solid, Reload. Ah, it's because it's not actually. Oh my god. Um, it's because it's not actually accounting. It's not happening. How do I say it? I don't even know how to say it. Um. Nah, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Sure. All right. I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, I guess, um, but yeah, everything works. If I click on the modal, it works, and I'm actually able to see it happening here. Um, oh, you know what? So maybe Firefox actually really takes in the mobile view seriously. Like, obviously, you can't do this in mobile, but like, even I actually tried it, it does work when you click on it, it turns bold, but when you hover over it, obviously, it doesn't because it can't, it doesn't know when you're hovering over it on a mobile. So maybe that's why I couldn't see it on Firefox. But I see here web view though, which is pretty cool. And so click on that and then everything else works really nicely. And then maybe the sign up button could be bigger. I always keep on like trying to change things and then new problems come up and then I spend five or more hours trying to fix them. So that's the story of my life. Um, so let me go to the, okay, that's the hashtag BTN, right? So let me do BTN and then font size maybe. 30 pixels and then I'll do this with not for the BTN itself because that's for mobile view but actually over here hashtag BTN and then do that font size there okay and then definitely change the border radius to be a little bit better than that so border radius just so it's rounder 30 pixels Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, that's it. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm done. Yes, for, for the final time, I'm done. And everything works really nicely. And let me just look at it one more time in web, um, not the web, mobile view. Right, beautiful. Everything works and okay.
I'm going to go now. Bye.